Hey everyone, welcome back to the sunny side. I'm Sunny, and this mini tarot reading right here, right now, specifically for Libra for the month of do, 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 October 2017. All right, here we go. Let's just shuffle up some cards. Do, 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 do. Just a reminder that we are on a bit of a subscriber drive here, so please share the videos and tweet it on Facebook. You know, wherever you're sharing, tweet it out with your homies on Twitter. You know, like. <laughs> Take him to the fridge. <laughs> okay. Just, you know, um, what's wrong with me? Um, every little bit helps, and I super appreciate the support. And sharing the videos is the only honest way we can grow the channel. And that's just the way it is. And uh, I really appreciate it. In addition to that, if you want a reading, I am a professional astrologer. I know I'm reading the tarot here. <laughs> but I'm a professional astrologer, and I do write the horoscopes for some of the newspapers up here in Canada. So if you're looking for a professional, if you want to read charts, if you, whatever kind of reading you want, simply message me at the uh, address above or have a look down in the description box and checks out, check out some of the, you know, some of the different types of reading, some of the services here. Also, on top of all of that, do, 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 just to remind you guys that, you know, so the readings aren't free and they're definitely, you know, they can, some of them are quite pricey. But I do raffle off a reading every Friday on the live stream here when I read out the love horoscopes for everybody. And if you want your tarot cards done, and, you know, one of the readings are a little pricey, I do have uh, discounts on the Tarot Tuesday. All you have to do is tune into one of the live streams and check it all out. And that's the action. Everybody cool? <sighs> all right, let's get down to it. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Libra. That's for the women and for the guys. Leave all my Libros out there. He, whatever, man. Sonny, why you gotta be so irregular? I ain't regular. I metamucilized. I quite regular. Okay. You should focus, man. Okay. All right, here we go. Libra. Libra. Wow. Oh, Libra. Oh, Libra. Oh, Libra, happy birthday. <laughs> Libra, the world, okay? You did it. You did it. Congratulations. It wasn't easy, you know? This is Tarot, okay? This is not the astrology, okay? In the astrology, a lot of uh, Libras had it tough recently. There's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes with Libra, and it's like, what the hell, you know? There's like, you know, there's talking like you put the cart in front of the donkey kind of deal, but like somebody comes off along and push both of them off the cliff because they're being a dick. That's what's going on. But this card means you survived. This is the very last card in the story, and it means you did it. You made it to the end. So it's not about endings and beginnings. That like it depends what comes up next, but. Just learn, know that in this card, it means you went through everything. All the shiz, all the, you know, the dommage. You did the whole action, you know. You came in, you learned your lessons, you know. You got treated like shit. You got treated like royalty. People promised you everything. They let you down. They got their asses handed to them. You got scarred a little bit. You know, some they got away with some shit they shouldn't have. You got a... You know, you did pretty good times too, but the bad is the bad, and the good is the good, and then you made it, and then you went down, and you're like, the devil's there, and you get a little sexy freaky, like, whatever, it's, you know, and then, like, you gotta find your way out, but you did, and then these mofos judge your ass for having go through all that stuff, which is like, what's the deal, right? But that's what happened, you know, and that's the story, and, you know, it all plays out a little different. You know, different events, you know, the window, sh you know, the window shade is a different color for everybody. You know, the facade, the veil is always a different color for everyone. In, in the chapter, I, it was four colors, but like, it's the color different for everyone, right? But like, but the world is right here at the disposal. Oh my God. I'm not going to sugarcoat you, Libra. A lot of stuff happens. It's not your fault. A lot of stuff happens that very motherfucking clearly is, <laughs> okay? But it doesn't matter. You're still going to survive. You're going to make it, all right? And that's the most important thing, okay? Yeah, okay? High priestess, all right? So something is hidden from you. The high priestess is one of the... Let's get this shit off my screen, <laughs> okay? 
The High Priest is one of the most powerful cards in the deck. You know, Toro comes into this world and he's like, he doesn't know what he's doing. He's innocent and naive. And the first person he meets is the Magician. And the Magician is very much an as above, as below kind of card. You know, he's pointing to the sky, right? But at the same time, he has everything laid out on the table. And each, you know, type of Toro deck depicts that image and symbology differently. But that's the gist of it, right? The magician is like a magician. What the, how do you do that? Brings things, he manifests things. Okay, so the magician is control, controls, in charge of the entire bottom half of the zodiac. All right, not zodiac, the entire bottom half of the story of Tarot. And that's all of the physical stuff. The magician brings it into this world. And then we get the high priestess, and the high priestess rules the entire upper half. And the upper half is your emotional state, it's subconscious, it's your your animalistic urges, you know, your intrinsic desires and motives and motivations and motions. It's a lot of M's, right? But like I was trying to search for the right word. It's what you do without thinking about what you do. You know, the devil's up there. You know, you're trapped by your lustful desires. You know, the moon is there. It's your emotions. You're trapped by your emotion, behind your emotions. You know, you can't break out of it. You know, the tower is there. It's the facade of like, oh man, we built this great tower, but on no foundation it collapses. You know, that's everything that the high priestess rose. Some people don't like this card. I love this card. Double Scorpio, right? You know I'm going to love this card. It's everything behind the scenes. So, a lot... You made it, you know, you should definitely, you know, make a wish, take a chance on whatever it is you want to take a chance. You've come full circle and you're ready for the next journey. There is a lot of stuff that is hidden from you, Libra, so you're going to have to dig a little and find out what's going on behind the scenes. But as I'm reading this card, right now, there are a lot of planets piling up in Virgo and it's all behind the scenes action was happening to Libra right now. Like the sun is spotlighting on Libra. So everybody's looking at you, but they're actually talking behind your back. So that's what you got to watch out for. And it's not so weird because the high priestess comes up, which means there's stuff going on you don't know about. And then judgment. Ouch. This is not the Libra card of justice. Of ju justice. This is judgment. This is like bringing down the axe. Uh... Justice is all about balancing things out. If you did it, you got it coming to you. That's the way it is. If you did it good, you got good coming. If you did it bad, you got bad coming. This is just the way it is. This card's not about that. This card is, did you learn your lesson? All right? Are you going to do it again? Did you do it again? We're not going to let you do it again. All right? You want to do that kind of, you know, you want to do that dance? By all means, dance your ass the action out of here. So that's what this card's all about. If someone crossed you, you can cross them right off the list. But I don't see a problem. Libra's going to do that anyways. <laughs> they, so like, Libra's not really going to do that, okay? But Libra can do it. She doesn't always like to do it. But any case, this is justice, you know? It, like, it's right at the end of the dark side of the story, okay? So the dark half comes through and you're like, you go and throw goes into death. He transforms. He's like, loses all his friends. He's like, what's going on? He's lost. He doesn't know where he is. He's still got his action with him, but like, he doesn't know what's happening, right? Things are being taken away from him. He's, he's trapped by his carnal desires. He's getting all, he's getting his freak on, you know, he's happy. He's feeling all sexy and people are liking him and his belly swells the size of like, of like a tubby tuna and like but that's just the way it is you know Tarot's going through the darkness he's like shit man i got then the t tower collapses and he's like shit man i gotta get my action out of here i don't know what to do you know he softens his stance with temperance and he's like shit the thing still fell star comes along finds a way out it's all behind the scene it's all part played out in the cerebral that you don't know so the non-cerebral <laughs> but then this one comes along and says, did you learn that? You, you're going to make sure you're not going to do it again, you know? But do we ever know that we're not going to do it again? Like, seriously, we do our best. And I was talking to my sexy little crab about this, you know, guys? And I was talking about how life is moving in circles, right? And I'm watching this happen to Libras. And you guys know there's some Libras close to me, right? So, like, I'm watching how this happens. And, like, I'm going, man, is this another cycle? Did you ask screw that up again? How could you donkey that shit up again? But that's not really what's happening, you know? It's not necessarily uh, karmic debts. It's not karma. It's not karmic rewards. It's like, it's not necessary the cycle, so to speak. Right? It might be. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> but it's not necessarily. 
you know, maybe you're just in a position, okay? So instead of looking around and going, man, I can't believe this is happening again. Instead of being, because it's happening behind your scenes, right? You're like, I, I trusted those guys. But like, as it comes forward, Libra, don't be like, oh man, we're doing it again. Maybe try looking at it like, we're here and I have a chance to use all of the skills that I've already learned, right? This beginning is not, uh, is not foreign to you. This beginning is you are equipped with the tools that you need to action down this beginning. And it's not a repeated cycle. It's you getting a chance to prove yourself. You're getting judged. You're getting a chance to prove yourself. So be strong and win the game. That's the action. From the sunny side dot net, I'm sunny, wishing all Libras the absolute best of a super, super beautiful month. Please share the videos, guys. It's the only way we can grow the channel, and I really appreciate it. And uh, if you want a reading, message me above. Check out the action below. And wishing all Libras the best of a beautiful month, and I'll see you guys soon.